know that hearing loss and tinnitus can affect anyone regardless of age. When we think of hearing loss and hearing aids, we don't typically think of the younger generations. Yet most hearing loss is gradual and can begin at a much younger age than many of us would imagine. Dr. Tish Ramirez and Shanway Jibia are here with some information that you will want to hear. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Good morning. Tri Cities. Good morning, Tri Cities. Well, Dr. Ramirez, what are some of the factors that can cause hearing loss? Some factors um, are illness, reaction to medication, possibly some impacted earwax in the ear canal, but two of the main factors are noise exposure and age. Not necessarily saying that everybody um, is going to eventually end up with hearing loss, but um, that is one of the main factors. The good thing about noise exposure is that it is preventable. And can you describe what tinnitus is? Tinnitus is uh, what most people describe as ringing in their ears. It is important to know, though, that tinnitus is not a disease, it's a symptom. It's typically a symptom of hearing loss. If you have uh, any indication that you're, that if you do have ringing in your ears, uh, you do want to get your hearing tested immediately because we can rule out hearing loss. Um, some other causes of tinnitus may be TMJ, uh, again, some head trauma, results of medication, all of those things uh, may come into play as well. But hearing loss uh, and tinnitus often come hand in hand. Shawnee, how did you first recognize that you were experiencing hearing loss? Well, I worked in television years ago and I was Miss USA 1998 and Donald Trump's first winner. Uh, 47 years ago, I was so proud to say that I was the first one to leave with a job, too. So I had a, 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 to set a precedence, an example. And the first couple years I was working on air, I realized I wasn't able to understand my director and my producers behind the camera. I became dependent on lip reading, and it was obvious pretty quickly that I needed to get checked out uh, in order to survive in my career and in life, for that matter. What was it like then to start wearing a hearing aid? You know, I've been wearing hearing aids for 18 years, almost 20 years, and I suffer from an ears disease. So that being said, clarity of speech is my most difficult challenge. And this new technology, Signia Primex technology, is absolutely incredible. We used to have these large apparatuses, um, and now today, it's interesting because over time, they're, they're getting smaller, yet more powerful. So the sound quality and the sound clarity is mind-blowing. You have an aha moment when you put them in. The depth and the richness is just fantastic. And for me, I used to have to press buttons every environment I'd go into. I would go into a restaurant. I'd have to change it, go out of the restaurant. So now, also, when you set your technology up to your hearing loss, the work is done. So that just leads for less effort, less stress, less anxiety, if you will. And Tish and I are actually new mothers, 13-month-old twins, and she has a 12-month-old daughter. Stress is there with hearing, and also we're professionals. I, I'm an instructor. I work with 100 students a week. So when I don't have to think about my hearing or changing to my environment, that is, it, that is amazing. So I can tell you it's just a win-win situation all around. One of the main things that you want to keep in mind is if you're in a noisy environment for a long period of time and you have to shout to talk to the person next to you or they have to shout so that you can hear them, it's probably a little bit too noisy. And in those type of environments, you want to think about hearing protection or earplugs or some type of um, inserts to, to protect your hearing. Um, in terms of age-related hearing loss, obviously we have no control over that, uh, but if, if we did, um, I probably wouldn't be sitting here right now. Uh, but uh, you can control for the, the noise exposure factor, um, especially for teenagers uh, or even some younger children now that are listening to music on their uh, MP3 players or smartphones. Uh, you want to make sure that that we can control for uh, the sound or the output of that. If you can hear their music, their music is too loud. Uh, you want to make sure that you talk to them about turning that music down because we're seeing younger children now that are suffering from hearing loss and also tinnitus, the ringing in their ears. We have more reports of that with younger children because of the, the exposure to their loud music. What are some of the misconceptions surrounding hearing loss? So oftentimes people feel that hearing loss is really no big deal. I can um, go out uh, about my life and um, you know live my life, but really we 
do want to consider that it does have a, a huge impact on your everyday life. Uh, number one, we do find that people that have hearing loss may become depressed because they're more isolated, they're not communicating with their friends and family, they withdraw from conversations. Uh, but more importantly, we have some recent studies that show that hearing loss left untreated can lead to dementia. So it's really important that if you do have some thoughts that you may have difficulty hearing, uh, that you seek a hearing health care professional. And you can find uh, a hearing health care professional on our website at signiausa.com. Shawnee, what advice can you give to people who are just now experiencing hearing loss? You know, don't wait. Don't wait, really. Um, it, it can take years for you to, to finally just realize that this is what you need to do. Don't let it, don't let that happen. You need to get early detection is the key, okay? First off, you need your brain to be able to receive this technology. And you don't want to isolate yourself and feel alone. And that's the most important thing. You need to stay engaged in the world, engaged to society and your family. Feel like you're making a contribution to society. Just stay in touch with people. So as long as you go in and get checked out early, you won't believe this technology. It is outrageous. So please just go to the website, signiausa.com, and check it out and just find a new way of life. It's, it's fantastic. Well, thank you both so much for your time this morning and for sharing this very helpful information. Thank you. Thank you. The preceding portion of Daytime was sponsored by...